Hi, welcome to Easy English. We are now on the last lesson about pronouns. And this time, we're going to have a look at reciprocal pronouns. What is reciprocal? Now, this word refers to a... Uh, a relationship between parties where there is give and take and we also have reciprocal pronouns it's actually you know these pronouns very well we use it every day <laughs> you see Reciprocal pronouns for two people or two nouns is each other. There are only two reciprocal pronouns in English. One is each other. Look at the sentence. When I ask who put the toy lizard on the teacher's desk, Benz and Bank look at each other. They didn't say anything. The teacher found a toy lizard on the desk and she asked, Who put this lizard here? The two students, Benz and Bank, did not say anything. They just looked at each other. Only two people here. Each other. What is the other one? Huh. Reciprocal pronoun for three or more people or three or more nouns, one another. Okay? The students in the science group helped one another. So we are talking of a group here, so there can be three or four or five or six or ten people in one group. And they all helped one another. And many times my students would ask me, Miss, when to use one another? When to use each other? So it's very easy. Each other is used when you are talking about two people. The boys look at each other. Only two. The students helped one another. Many students are involved. Okay? Now, question. Do we use apostrophe S or S apostrophe? The answer is we use apostrophe S. Look at the sentences. We opened each other's gifts. We share one another's burden. This is a line from a song. So it is apostrophe S. That's all for today. That's all for pronouns. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please write them on the comments below. And I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and it's about adjectives. Okay? Bye!